Danny, which of these quarterbacks uh, will, and these are all the top guys, and I'm not going to mention Carson because you wouldn't choose him, but which of these quarterbacks will disappoint this year? Oh, boy. Yeah. Dylan Gabriel? No. Quinn Ewers? Jalen Milrow? Noah Fafita? No. They like he, that He's guy. a baller. And he he's got a receiver out there who's that really a good, right? Yeah, he's, he's a really good player. Yeah. Uh, Jackson Dart? No. Jalen Daniels? I think he's a good player, too. Shadour Sanders? Uh, to, c- compared to what the hype is, yeah. that's probably the answer, regardless of who else you're going to say, because okay. there's so much hype there. I just saw Cam rising. Obviously, I'm not going to. Cam think Ward. Cam Ward's going to do great. Yeah. Um, as long as he does great after a uh, couple Saturdays from now, I'll be right, fine. Right, right, yeah. Is there anybody else in that list? Because that's interesting. No, oh, that's the top ten. And one of the one of the top ten lists that is going around. These are the top ten quarterbacks in the yeah in college football. And I was just curious, like not all of them are. Someone's going to have disappointment. Maybe yeah, a couple of them. I, I mean, when you look at this though, when you go down that list, most of them are on really good teams. Right. Um, Correct. I, I mean, I don't see Quinn Ewers having a disappointing year. I think Quinn's a really good player. Um, and then who was the one right after Quinn? Qu- keep scrolling. Jalen Milrow. Yeah, that's the one there. Um, I like Jalen, mm-hmm. but new staff in there. Yeah, with a new offense, and I know what they did, you know, at Washington. And mm-hmm. I'm I'm curious to see is he going to move to that skill set, or are they going to change the offense to Jalen? And I don't know the answer to that. Um, and so that that to me is a very interesting. Um, situation going into the year I the, the the kid is man talk about impressive like when you walk up on that kid oh, yeah. Milrow, oh yeah uh, un- unbelievable unbelievable and he, and he can make you know every throw it's just how much ball has he seen I don't know who that they're gonna do it Brent Brennan is he's the head coach at Arizona yeah he was at San Jose State mm-hmm. but yep. he got those guys to stay there that was that was pretty impressive and big yeah, you would have thought those boys would have went right with Jed Fish up to Washington. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, Jed, you know, what's interesting about the Washington thing is is Will Rogers is a client of ours, and so oh, Will okay. was at Mississippi State. Is he the starter at Washington now? Yeah, mm-hmm. and then he transferred to Washington, and two days after he transferred to Washington is when DeBoer left. Oh, and went to Alabama. Um, Will and, Rogers and, so and was- Will Howard are different people. Yes. Okay. yes. Will, yeah. Will Rogers. You know, I don't. I don't know if you guys know this. Yeah, but it's like fifteen hundred yards away from breaking oh, yeah. records yeah. in yeah. the SEC. But he threw like every play. Yeah. yeah. He had Leach right. He, he had Leach. Yes. Yeah. He had the game early on with Leach and early on in his the LSU scored yes. a million. Yeah. yeah. The LSU could not stop. It's like them. early, like first second game of the year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that was uh, that was a big deal. So yeah, it's yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, he mentioned Will Howard, who's won the job at. The Ohio State. Yeah, they announced that yesterday in case you were curious. But he left K-State. Which is also a good team. Because he was going to lose his job. Yeah. They liked the young kid there better. Well, and listen, just because he won that job. Yeah. I don't know anything that's going on there, but I know this kid. Julian Sayan is the real deal. Oh, the kid from Alabama. No, the the, he was committed to Alabama. He's a true freshman. And he went to Ohio Ohio State. State. Okay. And this kid is... Absolutely phenomenal. Okay. And if there's a stumble, I, I would be willing to bet that he'll be in. What's going? It's hard already- to be a stumble at that school. Like the yeah, kid right. last year wasn't good enough. McCord. And 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 ended up going to Sy- you knew he was Burrow. There. There's been some. He trouble. went to Syracuse, and but the only st- because of the schedule and because they're so much better than everybody else in that particular conference. They really don't get tested till Michigan, and then if they lose that game, they that's got true. that. I mean, that's how it tends to work. So yeah, no, I, don't, I, I don't know how they could stumble. What's going on with Arch Banning? <laughs> um, I think I look at Arch the same way I looked at Carson a couple years ago. Like he's, he's yeah. doing the right things, he's waiting his time. That's a great, and comparison. yours is going to go pro. It's even it's e- probably easier for Arch. I mean, because Carson has to sit behind Stetson Bennett, right. who play great at college, but it's yeah. not like I mean. You know, yours is going to be a first round pick. Yeah, I, I think it never was. I think there's those guys that, regardless of what the situation is, they they just have enough that if they just worry about themselves and just when their time's going to come, it's going to be fine. And that's what Carson was. I think I think that's what I think that's what Manning is. I saw him at the Manning Passing Academy. He's an impressive looking kid. Manning's he looks big. good. Yeah, and he had some really nice scrimmage slash spring game type. Numbers that yeah. people are able to build off of. He's so. got one of these, you know, seven-figure NIL deals, right? Who, Manning? Yeah, oh, absolutely. I don't know. 
Oh, I, oh hey, listen. You don't have to go run it off anywhere. You take your time, develop. Yeah, and, he's got well, you know, money, but he doesn't yeah. need it. Uh, yeah. He's, gosh. I, Especially you don't need I'm it with gonna some I'm going to guess he's six. He's, close, he's got to be close to 6'5". So he's big. He's yeah, big yeah, like he's his uncle and his, and his, uh, yeah. his uncles. Hey, was uh, Riley Leonard not on that list? Was not. Uh, what, I, that's the one that nobody's really talking about. That's the guy going from Duke to Notre Dame? Yeah. Good player. You like him. Like him a lot. Yeah, Is Not it, one of our guys, and I'm still saying that. So yes, Notre like Dame, uh, you know, pressure there, too. I mean, yeah. they, could, they, could, they could make some noise. Yeah, he's you bet. Play. Just ask the swim team. Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, I want to ask you about a couple. I think FSU has a, a, a testier little two-game opener than people are knowing. Tell me if I'm wrong, and I'm not. Not all quarterbacks we talk about are we trying to put in the Pro Bowl. Mm-hmm. Some guys are just what they are in college and how they help their teams. It goes back to high school even. But I thought that Haynes King, who came from Texas and played, did a real good job for Georgia Tech last year. And by the end of the year, I mean, they lost to Georgia by like seven. They beat UCF in the bowl game. It, is that a be careful yeah, FSU? Yeah. yeah, no, I think it is. I think um, he's got that typical lefty. It looks odd. Looks like it's not going Haynes quite. King as, is lefty. I think he was, no, wasn't he? he no, was. he's righty. He, but he does righty. have a he does have a weird stature to him. Yeah. He, the way he throws the ball, and he but he is a really good player. I think what Brent Key's doing up there is that he's they're taking on his personality. I've known Brent for a long time, and um, he's going to build that thing. Like he's going to be. It needs time, but he's going to build it to what Georgia Tech can be. But to answer your question, no, I. I, one, I think Florida State's taking Georgia Tech very seriously. I think Florida State knows what is is ahead of them and knows that they've got a lot of uh, question marks. Uh, so I don't think they're going to take this game lightly. And I think they'll win. But to your point, I, I think they're going to get pushed a little bit. Is the, and is that little dual threat quarterback still at Boston College, Vic? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the kid from Ware County. Joe C. Yeah. What's his? Yeah, yeah. Castellano. Castellanos. Yeah. Now, yeah. FSU got to go there. Yeah. Or they're home, maybe. I don't know, but for the Labor Day game and the new coach of, of Boston College. Who's that? Bill, Bill O'Brien. O'Brien. Oh, that's right. An interesting I mean, little dynamic. Yeah, no, so there's, no. There's like what? Typically, see Georgia Tech, Boston College. You're 2-0. and oh, What's next? This is a... And I think they'll win the games. Do not get me wrong, but I'm just saying that's kind of a good thing. You know, if you're FSU getting up to speed, you're going to get t- tested, but still you should you This should is an interesting year for FSU because if they can turn around and have another 9-10 win season, right. right? since all those guys have left, since Jordan left and all that, then it, that answers a lot of questions for them. I, th- I think at that point you got to look at them and go, okay, they're they're back to a top seven program. Mm-hmm. Um, and if, if they pull that off this year, man, their recruiting is going to be good. They're great in the in the portal. Um, that's that's. He, they're, they're it's a big right year. Back. We've talked about yeah. that. It's a big year. A lot on 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 DJ and, and yeah. just keeping them going. Yeah. Schedule's manageable. As long as they can split their losable games, they'll be fine. How are you guys feeling closer to the season about Florida now? I'm finding myself less optimistic. I, I'm not, like, in the pits. I The reality coming of what still... Yeah, you know, you get we all get sucked into the to the. He's to, exact. Op- most people feel a little bit better uh, because we've I heard mean, so many yeah. good things about Florida and so yeah. many good things coming out of there, and and that they they have talent, and so uh, I think most people feel more. I'm worried about the line, but I'm worried about the offensive line. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I had them down for like four wins, five wins early on. Yeah. So I, there's not any worse I can feel about them, but I I think that they'll be better than what. We all thought if they're a lot better, they're, they're kind of like the, they gotta stay healthy though. Yeah, they gotta and stay healthy. They need yeah. uh, it, right. I just listen. There's a few things that have made me a little less optimistic. One is you're not gonna have your best player against Miami most likely, and the O line is just that continues to be a question. Yeah, you know, it's a question. Yeah, at every level, and, they, and they're playing. They don't play in the league to have questions in that position. At every single level, right now, everybody has. No matter who you talk to, mm-hmm. talk to coaches all day, every day. Man, what worries you, O line? Or where is you? O-line. Mm. High school, college, NFL, whatever it is, it's O-line, O-line, O-line. It's the only thing that comes out of their mouth. I, I guess big kids aren't playing football anymore. They're it's excited. Not the O-line. <laughs> That's yeah. a good question. Where yeah. are they? Yeah. Maybe they're all at Ohio State, Georgia, Alabama, the top yeah. five teams in the country. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe well, you they know, you all go, go You there. still go to high school games occasionally, right? Like, yeah. like you'll look at a high school line, there'll be three guys that are 6'4", 265, and then there's a guy that's like 5'8", 160. In the car, yeah. yeah. Cush. <laughs> Cush cam. I've always remembered uh, uh, in public school stuff, uh, boy, I, through all the years, Sandalwood always had like five giants. Yeah. I mean, I just and, – and I don't know where – but again – 
you might be a big dude and you can play high school football, but if you got there's another level that you got to get to if you want to play, you know, big time college football. Did you scout work with or look at Joe Milton at all? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, where is from what, an what agent is is he? A, it, <laughs> what what is Joe Milton? Um. Because here's what's happening right now in, in, in Patriots camp. And, again, it's a different deal when you come in third against the third team. But he's playing the pants off of May, of, uh, of Drake May. Yeah, he's yeah, he's I mean, making, you know, eye-popping athletic plays, as you would expect with Joe right. Milton. He had, a, he had a, a long shot in the first game, and he drove him down for a field goal, as I was watching last night. And, I, you know, inevitably, you see that style of play, and the Patriots fans are going to prefer him to Drake May in about 10 minutes. That's yeah, no, it, it's – I mean, he's everything that they say he is as far as athletics and – What's the difference between him that? and Anthony Richardson? Um, Anthony's got a really compact stroke. Like, I mean, he, he can get rid of the ball really quick. That comes in, especially in the NFL, not in the actual throw, but in going from progression one to progression two, you don't have to reload. Uh, that's my concern with Milton is he, he's he's – a lot of weight on the back foot. He's like a longer stroke guy. Um, so if in the NFL, if I'm coming off of a flat route and trying to come inside, that's going to take an extra tick. Uh, just just the way his body is, just the way he moves. That's my only worry about him. But outside of that, I mean, at the combine, I'm sitting there watching this kid warm up, and he is throwing darts. I thought you said that. I thought you 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 referenced him from the combine. Yeah, just... darts for like 45 yards. Might be a good developmental pick for the pay whenever they got him, fifth, sixth round. I don't know when they took Joe Milton. Yeah, I, you know, I, preseason football to me is so interesting because if you go back and you look last year, mm-hmm. the best preseason quarterback, far and away, maybe the greatest preseason ever was Kenny Pickett. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Couldn't Enough miss. Said. Yeah, couldn't yeah. miss. Yeah. Yeah, now he's a I'm, I'm not. Yeah, 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 I don't. I don't mean to. Pro, I don't mean to project. I just. I. You've seen this before. We've seen it in our town. What's going to happen as the Patriots struggle? Drake May and Joe Milton are going to be. Yeah. They're like opposite. They're both young, but one's the athletic, and so on a bad team, he's going to. Yeah. Probably keep you closer. Yeah. No. I mean, Drake May is very athletic. Yes, I don't, he is. He I, ain't I don't, Milton athletic. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm. I don't dislike Drake May, but I'm kind of with Joe you. Milton, I, I, I don't know. That, no, that's true. Joe Milton's not a, he's a not running twitchy. guy. He's not twitchy. He, he but just he's, can throw it a mile. That's yeah. what he can he's do. He's a linear guy. Like, he's yeah. not – and that's the big difference in him and Anthony is is Anthony's a rotational guy, twitchy guy, powerful guy. Joe Milton's more of a linear guy, long stride, you know, that type of guy. Um, but I don't know. I mean, if he develops, he's definitely got the, the arm talent to play in the league. That he has. Yeah, no question. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. I mean – I there might not be a bigger arm in the league. And not to throw us back to college, but I think yeah. that is a nut, probably maybe the most interesting story is the, is Tennessee this year with, with this Nico. Nico. Kid. They're yeah. high on him. They should be. Yeah. He, he's a really good player, but you saw Hendon Hooker and you saw what they were able to do with him. I mean, Joe Milton scored 16 points on that Florida defense last year in the Swamp. That's what I go back I to. I guess to my point with Milton as a runner, he went 81 yards. Drake Mango, I mean... If, yeah. if, if no, a quarterback you, can go 81 yards, he's more than just nah, you get you, you know, get him striding. That's more athletic he's, than your typical quarterback. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think if like if you looked to put it this way, if you looked at the 40 yard dash, he probably has the same time as a lot of other athletic quarterbacks. But his first 10 yards, I just watching him fast. on that Patriots stand. I've watched them both weeks. Have they've happened to yeah. find him on? And the O lines a sieve. He's athletic enough that he's getting out of trouble, keeping yeah. plays alive, dumping screen. What's passes. Atlanta going to do? You're an Atlanta guy. They're going to be good, I think. Yeah. I mean, I think they're, I don't know if they're under the radar anymore, adding those defensive pieces. I, I, I wonder about Kirk Cousin being ready to go. We just assume that he is. He tore his ACL in what, October, November? What if he's not in Penn Achilles, in wasn't it? Or ACL? I thought it was Achilles. It was Achilles. It was Achilles. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah. I mean, what if he's not in, and Penix goes in there and just shreds it? Uh, the word is Penix isn't going to be going in and shredding it, at least not right away. He that makes seems a to be great pass, and then he makes a bad pass. Yes. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. He'll do a, give you a highlight, and then he'll miss I, a wide I open I know this. As yeah. If you're a Falcons fan, you desperately want Kirk Cousins to be healthy. I, I have watched <clears throat> six total plays of, of preseason football, and that was Austin Reed last, last week. And that's yeah. it. That's literally the only football. His I've parents so are getting some nice time on isn't uh, that fun? hard knocks. Yeah, isn't that fun? I talked to him the other day. <laughs> Yeah, you know Austin. I mean, you knew the camera was going to find him. He's done. He's done well in his time in the games. Yeah, he's going to do. Fun. Who is he with? Chicago. The Bears. The Bears. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know how. What are going to make the team or? or? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I would think. Who's I would their back? Probably they um, got Tyson Bajant and Rippin, oh, yeah. and then they got Rippin, who I think safe there because he's a six year vet. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I mean, the thing about Austin though, I think if you put him on practice squad, he's he's thought of enough that somebody may come get him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, final 
thoughts on where, where Trevor is now at this stage of camp? I mean, obviously a little nervous when we started, but he had, you know, how do you look the other day? How do you yeah, I, see him progressing here towards the regular season opener? The the videos that I've watched, I haven't been out there. Um, stroke looks really clean, like really clean. As, as, as good as this looks since he's been playing okay. to me. Um, and then it looks to me like he's playing everything a little differently with his feet. Um, and that's fixed a lot of the, uh, I'll say, progression type issues that I used to see. So I think he looks really good. good. I, I'm, I'm excited about about Trevor this year. I think he's going to have a big year. We need it. Yeah. We need it. It's a yep. good time. It would be a great time for him to take that step and Absolutely. Be, be one of those guys. So Because uh, he's in the club. Once yeah. you get in the club. 50 million club? If you're in the club, it's fair to have expectations no doubt. as a fan base. And There's every nobody base. in the club that doesn't have. Yeah, I, I think he does too, right? Like, Burrow, he's it's, he's I mean, got his expectations. Sure, sure. Well, yeah. every, I, everybody who's in the club I, should I, have I, expectations. I, Trevor has said more than once and to the point that I don't think it's just trying to like self-promote that this is the best team they've had. They're, every player down there, and it's not just, look, every player in every locker room, we're going to be a playoff team. Down there, they really think they're a playoff team. That I'd like that to be a real yeah. belief you know I, we've heard that here before but you know it's not a real belief and i think we've underplayed because of all, everybody's concerns about again the offensive line we've underplayed how good this roster is well let's hope so i i think it is an excellent roster i remain concerned about the o-line speaking, yeah i mean that's why, and that's of. the yeah yeah that's the <laughs> that's the question mark i remain hey, concerned uh, about the first team getting in there and in joint practice or against last week for a couple series and not being able to run the ball mm-hmm. and not being able to pass protect. And again, it's early and I'm not, you know, but it's the same guys and, exactly. and, and they're banking on them being better and healthier. I can bank on them being healthier. I don't know how they're going to be better, that's, but we'll see. That's right. Uh, one question on the text line, let you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carter Smith, what can you tell us about him? Oh, Carter's. Yeah. That's my guy. Uh, he's going to Michigan. He's, he's from down South and um, oh. another baseball guy. Florida Gatorade uh, Player of the Year, yeah, Where's, yeah, no, another another baseball guy that that has decided to specialize in football. Will he still go to Michigan when they're on probation in ten minutes? Or <laughs> I haven't talked to him. Will about he still that. go when their coach is suspended for a year? Weirdly enough, we have two kids committed to Michigan right now. Right, we've got him yeah. and the Brady Hart kid. Just and, get one era back and Bishop you do what Burrow you want with the other. High School. Yeah, no, he's he's a Carter's a good player. Hey guys, Taylor Dahl here. Thanks so much for watching 1010XL. If you're looking for even more great content, head over to our 1010XL Jaguars page or one of our college football pages.